Yo, what is going on, man? We back with another video, man. Hey, we got some baddies on here, man. This is Ula Wula. Zaro must be stopped. Y'all asked for me to do that video, man. So, hey, we back, man, with some fire, man. We got to say it. Caliente. You know what I'm saying? No <laughs> cap, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Hey, yo. Yaddy Yaddy here. And you guys could watch me in TikTok as Miss Bossy Yaddy. And then Instagram as Miss Yaddy Yaddy. On TikTok, TikTok at Honey Buns, H U N double I B U N double Z. You know what is it? They go crazy. 360 quick. Oh my God. Oh my. I'm in love. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm married right now, but. I had to divorce my wife. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, all right. Hi, guys. Me, Didi. You can follow me on Instagram at Kalia.Delgado. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Kalia Delgado. I just posted a new video. Uh, it's Ice and Nats Cameraman. So if you don't know the tea about that, find out. Come sip it. Um, Come sip it, she says. My outfit, if you were wondering. Oh, I Ooh, and a tad on the side. She's gonna make me fold right now. Dang. So, uh, oh, if you want to explain my next video, get my video to 30 likes and give me 300 subscribers, and we could cook something up. Yeah, yeah, the fat red guy. This man Zoro must be f stopped. First off, why is this man mean mugging us like we're the ops? We are not the ones that put your left eye on Do Not Disturb, Petty Wop. Don't be mad at us. Be mad at the hey. bisexual vampires. You look like you're trying to sell you exotic cologne at the mall. Anyway, so these dudes somehow got themselves into trouble with a f***ing ender dragon if he took steroids. Dude took a couple endermen to the gym and started doing 30 sets of whatever the f***. Anyways, they were fighting this gigantic eight elixir Jason love of a dragon and someone's diabetic grandma was here too. I'm telling y'all right now. On EDP soul, one more hamburger she's gonna be stuck in that mobility scooter for the rest of her life. Start charging with this gigantic attack looking like Dragon Lord blasted these nut sacks. And I thought he's gonna use some kind of devastating attack. But this lame ass was just like. Did he hit him with a scream? Whole time, this nigga just wants to use Leaf Hurricane. Dude, fucking edged us. Anyways, the attack is coming, and this nigga Lodge is staring at it like, Dang. this was still loading. Must have thought this giant fucking slash wanted to go band for band with him. Anyways, he gets up out the way last minute. Then we cut to this CGI demon kid. This motherfucker's power is manipulating garbage. Huh? I just know he smells like shit. <laughs> Fuck Joy Boy, this nigga's Onion Boy. Then you got this recovering fence addict killer. This one was a D1 tweaker. Couldn't stop laughing. All type of weird ass movements. Do not bring this man on a two man. He would scare the hose. And the only one that kept the gangster was Zoro. He's from Japanese O Block. All this danger shit ain't new to him. Bro is all nonchalant. Didn't even look back. He's so cool. He probably gets so many bitches. He's just like Duke Deadheads. All right, let me stop. This is bigger brain rock than the shit Philly be sending me. Anyway, so they start tag team comboing this nigga. Luffy punched him dead in the mouth with a flaming right hook. Kid grabbed him by the throat. Made him go round and round like the wheels on the bus. Yes, I'm a grown ass man. You grab him by the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pay that? <laughs> and yes, I watched Cocomelon. The fuck you gonna do about it? And then took his ass to Suplex City. Then it's been lost through a goddamn Ender Pearl. Teleported in, then stabbed him with his lightning bolt. Hit his ass with a. They were jumping this man like Popeye's employees jump their customers. All this while Big Mom is just standing there in the corner trying to distract them by dancing. This video is brought to you by tanks, dyslexic planes, huge no. explosions. Damn, the boys at War Thunder tapped in again with your boy for this one. So y'all better get ready. War Thunder is a free-to-play large-scale multiplayer action game featuring ground, air, and naval combat. The game is available on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Mac. No, Ferry, I didn't watch this video. I thought I did. Oh my oh, god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So y'all better hurry up. The American no, vehicle god. bonus season will end Damn, soon. Bro. Anyways, everything was going well until <laughs> this man Killer came in thinking he was Chainsaw Man and started giving Kaido freaky back shots like me and my Discord oh. came when we have ESAC. And it was low-key working too until Big Mom pulled up and shut that weak shit down with a... He came huh? Look at how hard Kid is screaming out for this nigga. I'm just sitting here trying not to laugh because the only time I've ever seen a nigga this concerned was when the five for Latina they were talking to stopped responding to their messages. Anyway, so now Kid is down for the count and Kaido wants to eat him and his reboot card so they can't respond him. Either that or the nigga was just hungry. But Luffy, the handsome... Okay, ugly nigga he is. Came out of nowhere, put his nasty ass fucking feet straight into this man's like face. That? And I thought he low-key knocked him out. But this man Kaido was just trolling. That shit hit as hard as that fuck shit J. Cole just dropped. It's... 
Grippy. But now Luffy's in trouble. Kaido's charging up this solar beam. And even though it takes two turns to charge, Luffy cannot move. He's lagging. He's on 999p. And that's when my goat Zoro comes running in like LeBron James where he blocked the dog shit out of Eagle Dollar. And he's like, hey, nigga with the zesty ass coat, teleport me. What? Who you calling zesty? I have a lot of sex with women too. Whole time they're using this man like a slash TP command. Anyway, so Kaido sends that shit in just before it hits Luffy and burns the skin off his balls like a hot seatbelt during summer. Zoro gets air dropped in front of him and this man just pulled out his hey, nose. Nah, you burn it like that, you need to go get checked. I check. That <laughs> <laughs> whole bag was burning. <laughs> 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 you Uno card. And he's like, if you don't get that bullshit out of my captain's face, split those flames like Moses split the gap between my teeth. I'm telling y'all, Luffy and Zoro are locked in like this. I don't know who the third guy is, but I'm pretty sure he likes kids. Anyway, Zoro wasn't done. He looked at Kaido and was like, Yeah, I got something special for you. Oh, the Yomu's fucking ghost blade. Then he made the Ender Pearl merch and teleported him higher into the sky. And I gotta get cringe for a second. This is Aura Galore. This man was so cold. He had Kaido seeing flashbacks of his biggest op. Unk was genuinely terrified. He even had big mom sweating. And that was a first for her. You know she don't do no fucking exercise. Anyway, so Zoro lets out his Genji ult and the suicidal nigga who literally listens to 800 by logic every morning before he tries to kill himself. Die! Normally I would clown him for missing, but my dick is just way too hard right now. And now it's just the first whoa. moment of this fight. Because not even 10 minutes later, they're at a standstill. So Kaido and Big Mom decided to team up, which formed an even stronger duo than Discord and grooming children. The baseball music yeah, starts the playing, they start getting ready to bat. No, I don't want to watch baseball. And they mix their attacks together like Asmund Gold mixes, smelling like shit with looking like shit. Sent out this big oh. ass ball of destruction, and these niggas are just looking at it. Like, move! What are you doing? These idiots are just staring at it like it's a fat ass or something. Yeah. Last reaction might have been the worst. Mouth open and shit. This is probably how Captain America looked when he first came back and saw a black man sitting next to him on the bus. Everybody was like, well, he were finished. Except Zoro. This man said, I'm nothing like you niggas. Jumped in front of the attack That's and just head. fully <laughs> tanked it head on. I can't tell if Zoro is the dumbass or if he has the biggest oh, penis on earth. He's holding the attack back and telling everybody to vacate the premises, but these dumbass idiots aren't moving. They all dead ass have the IQ of a deflated tire. I already know popcorn reading used to fuck them up as kids, bro. Anyways, he eats the whole fucking blast by himself and is in dire need of some slurp juice. This is why you don't queue up with bums, bro. You're gonna have to carry. What's even crazy is that right after this, Luffy ran out of gear five and needed some time to recharge of his battery. Course. So Zoro got up after taking Big Mom and Kaido's meat down his throat, then proceeded to use every last drop of aura. He took the whole thing down. <laughs> he took the whole hey, he didn't leave. He didn't leave nothing. He didn't leave nothing. No, you got a wide mouth, bro. Doing that. Whoa! <laughs> Perfect. Takes one to no one. Oh. In his body. Sorry, I'm a cornball, but I had to say it. The minority hunter himself went super racist three and pulled this crazy ass new move out of his bag. And this man dead ass started going hit for hit with Kaido. And y'all niggas trying to tell me he's the same level as Sachi? Nigga who cried because he lost a three eyed Bob? Sachi? The nigga whose dad wished he wore a condom? Sanji? Any nigga who's trying to tell me Sanji is the same level as Zoro? Shut the fuck up in 2024! Yo, Sanji's oh. never reaching this level of strength. He's too busy waiting for little girls inside water slides. Anyway, so then this nigga hits a Lego Ninjago spin jutsu attack. And by the way, whoever's animated the new one piece, they deserve got got with the switch. With the switch. With the switch. Anyway, so Zoro passes through and becomes the first person since Odin to cut Kaido. Oh my god, this is why I'm a virgin. Uh huh? Are you a virgin? Huh? Boss, bro? I got so Zoro's dumbass is lost again. At this point, dude needs a UAV shoved into his ass crack. Because how in Mario's <laughs> fucking galaxy is your minimap this booty, my nigga? Bro got lost, found his way to the North Pole. My dick fell off! Got lost again, found his way to Somalia. What the hell? What the hell? Please, I'm just looking for this big forehead nigga. Yo! Yo. Got lost one more time and found his way to a Life. ditty party. Like, bro just be finding himself in the most oh, random predicament. Anyways, he gets found by this shorty named Anal or some shit, whose devil fruit lets her turn anything she touches. 12 years younger. She caught Nami lacking with that shit, turned her into an 8-year-old. And you already know on Minecraft YouTuber someone just starts stroking her small ass cock. Matter of fact, we didn't even have to wait for a Dream SMP member. This man Sanji was in sex stuff in heaven. Nigga said, damn, she's eight. I swear, I will never understand pedos, bro. If you like little people so much, just go clap a midget. They always got the fattest ass. Anyway, she thought her opponent was Nami and that she was about to catch the easiest dub of her life. But then she looked a bit closer and realized it was Chris Brown's disciple himself and was like, 
But she's not finna run. She's just like Quagmire's mom. She got balls. I'm gonna be 100% dead balls. ass. Uh, you're probably gonna slap the shit out of me. But I'm still gonna stop you from getting to my captain. And whole time, her captain is a senior uh. citizen nigga named Z. I would have put him in anime. Old heads must be stopped. But just look at this nigga. No hose, no aura. Take that big ass Cyberpunk 77 ass arm off. And he's just a 74 year old Hanson Emmanuel. I can't even fucking hoop. Old ass nigga. You can probably show him a GTA 5 clip and he think it's real. Anyway, she thought she could stop him. And Zoro didn't give a fuck. He was like. <laughs> Rihanna thought she could stop Chris Brown too. Then proceeded to equip his oh, wife beating oh, Durag. And I swear he puts that shit on his four by eight square feet forehead every single fight. You would have thought it was the Durag of Draktar and gave this man plus 18 new thousand. Anyway, so they start squabbling and she's tossing Pepto Bismol balls at this nigga like he just ate at Taco Bell. Trying to drop molten nut on his head. But he just slapped that bullshit to the side like a crackhead when you try to give him food instead of money. Happy New Year, man. Got you, so they clash and the show out here doing high tech little nigga flips trying to get away. But this man Zora is relentless. This ninja sprinted to her location like my Indian Dora Dasher who don't play about my Chick fil A. But he used X scissor twice. Stop wasting PP, dog. Just tell the hoe you fuck with Steve Lacey. She'll suck your dick. Anyway, she well, dodges just, and pulls out her two best friends, Smith and Wesson, and tries to hit him with a misfortune ultimate. But Zora just circumcises it, fucks the rest of them bullets up like Marquez Brownlee's hairline, okay, okay. leaps 40 feet into the fucking sky like Laura Iker and LeBron, completely fruit ninjas on guns, and then pops his Genji ultimate screaming, Yuji no kira kira! And just look at that face of absolute terror. This is the face fat niggas make when you ask them if they want a salad. Anyway, so before Zoro turns into a JJK spoiler, Koei stepped in and it was like, hey, remember, we're Pussy Gamer 13. So he turns the sword to the dull side, uses his rage boosted Chris Brown Genji. She old and slightly tickles her. How does this nigga feel like JP? Did you ever make a He's no. So for this one, we gotta take I'm it all the way it. back to Dubai because the straws are getting there and I have money. <laughs> anyway, so Nami's running for her life because she stole two shawarmas than a little Arabic child. <laughs> She's trying to get away from the nigga from Fortnite and this shorty right here with the fucked up mascara. Don't ask me why I know what that is. I told y'all already I'm a bad nigga. Anyway, so Nami runs out of stamina and she's like, okay, you know what? Maybe they're highly intelligent, reasonable people and we can talk about this without violence. And she turns around and sees this nigga has Hellcat and fucking Japanese tattooed on his chest. And she's just like, oh, Allah, I'm finished. So she tries to skedaddle, but this man is on her ass in creative mode looking like a fat nigga trying to grab a bite. But before she fails the quick time event, joins Ace's ass in the fucking lobby. Zero came in and saved her ass. I swear this bitch is useless. Why in Kevin Leonardo's ass crack are you in the straw hats if you can't even fight? And do not try to tell me she's the navigator when niggas got Google Maps. Matter of fact, hey Siri, take me to the One Piece. Shut the fuck up, you dirty ass nigga. On EDP's life, your skill set be better used on bank rows. And look at Zoro. This man is trying way too hard to impress the hoes. I promise you, the hoes are not noticing that single vein on your bony ass arm. And your op is literally mid-air hitting the fucking Wild Luigi built like those niggas that be cheating on 2K. This is not a cold moment for me. And who the fuck did they get to animate this shit? Grade A under A? I'm starting to see why new people don't want to watch One Piece, bro. Shit collapsed like a Lego building. The fuck are these PS2 ass graphics? Anyway, so Zoro's gonna poop with panties because he just witnessed this man split a building in half with his fingers. So he's like, are you hiding a blade in your ass crack or did you eat a devil food? Because if you're hiding it in your ass crack, you're sus as fuck. And he's not helping himself whatsoever being the James Charles allegation. Why is he biting his tongue looking at Zoro like he wants to give him some freaky back shots? Zoro was just like, which one? The nigga nigga know me? And he immediately tries to circumcise Zoro, but he passes the quick time event. And Fortnite dude reveals that he ate the super super no me. It basically just makes him the average road man in South London. Which no, is the fucking sucks. You're telling me you got niggas who can fly? Niggas who can shoot literal magma out of their body? And he can't even beat his dick in peace without worrying if he's gonna cut his balls off. Anyway, so Fortnite guys, like, it don't matter. I'm just gonna beat the fuck out of you. Zoro's just like, that's crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> this racism like it was a Modern Warfare 2 lobby. Listen, fucking albino black bitch. That's why I fucked your tree on Black History Month, nigga. Wow. You look like a hairless Ewok. Sure. Sure. Fuck Obama. Sure. Fuck your Kool-Aid drinking sure. ass lips. Wow. Fuck Michael Jordan. Hey. Fuck the ugly ass hell can you drove in here. Shit's probably about to get repossessed. <laughs> He's not lying, you are a broke ass nigga. Shut up, bitch. You are driving Tesla, right? What made you think I don't help? Can you racist piece of shit? Shut the fuck up. I stop the fuck out of you. You look me in the eyes and say thank you. Pussy. Who the fuck you doing? Aww. Aww, black boy's gonna cry. Where, 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 nigga? Harriet Tubman can't save you now. Go cry to Obama, dumbass. I'm sure he'll raise your taxes again. You're not gonna be talking to me like that, bro. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I give a dollar a day to broke niggas like you. Nah, nah, fuck you. That's why your childhood friend fell on the fucking stairs and got one shot. Wow. Dumb bitch can even outpower skill. 
hill and staircase. Now you see, now that's too far. That's too far, bro. Nigga, my dick gonna go too far up your ass, nigga. Pause. Anyway, so first order of business, man. Zoro spawned in his beat a nigga's ass. That's bounded. You can't say that's pause, pause. it in. You can't. That's play all the way, bro. This man has definitely been to the Diddy party, because how did he come up with the joke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the first one in line at that Diddy party. He had to be. Was you? Yeah. <laughs> He was disguised as Jay Z out there. Oh man! Look at Mustard turn on creative mode and grab it at the menu because the only other explanation is that he keeps that shit hidden in his ass crack. Anyway, so he fights down and swore his level one thousand teeth. I know he stays in nothing but sweat and nickels. This is like a fight with Android 18's coochie in his mouth. Anyway, so Zoro starts charging up. So Frank Ocean uses protect and he's like, I should probably let you know now. My body's harder than the plaque between Steve Buscemi's teeth. I'm literally the nigginator. But Zoro is not. Let's he catches at him in quite literally the worst animated run I've ever seen. Proceeds to slash him and does less damage to him than Drake did to Kendrick when he said, I would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you're in fucking lines every blogger and editor. Like, oh, brother. Millie Bobby Brown. Anyway, so the nigga Zoid attacks back and puts Zoro in a quick time event. And from this angle, I can't tell if that's his leg or his serrated penis. So he overpowers him and tries to hit him with his claws. Out here looking like Edward nigger hands. But Zoro blocks it and stands his ground even though he's wearing the big red boots the same with cousin the, the big green boot <laughs> and this hey, man yo. is so unserious bro trying to act like his what wi-fi right now nigga we know you got fiber optic internet and look at this frame what is he doing to zoro he had bro looking like little uzi's two arms anyway so they keep going at it zoro kicks him in the balls and had him feeling the pain of when you find out your crush has 40 million snap score gg buddy and then follows up with a poke to the forehead that shit's gonna swell up like a looney tunes character that hit had bro leaning back like he took a whiff of asman gold's nasty ass fucking hair you a new boy that attack pissed bro off. He definitely creased his Jordans during that slide. Anyway, so while the pit crew was cleaning his shit up, this dude Zoro was like, at this point, I'm going to start pulling niggas' cars. He's a predator. So this man started charging up his final attack, took a knee, no Colin Kaepernick, and used minority slash. <laughs> Nigga had no chill. He started making monkey noises in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Zoro wasn't done. This man leaped into the air. This nigga wanted to be in the cover of Die Lit so fucking bad. And slashes the Hellcat tattoo off this man's chest. And I swear they hired these animators off Sheen. These dickheads got Zoro.png being moved across the screen with a mouse. I've seen that tie with better animation than this. Anyway, Zoro turns around and Jacquees is just standing there looking like damn wide neck. I just know every time this nigga swallows food, it gets sent straight to the back room. Where am I? Where am I? He really did all of that and did no damage. Look at his face. He knows he fell off. Bruh. He's already imagining himself in that Chuck E. Cheese costume, wondering where did life go wrong. Anyway, so Avon pins Zoro against the wall. No time holding. And he starts doing the Kamehameha looking like a Section 8 Goku Black. Literally. And perfectly splits this building and any innocent babies watching Coca Cola inside of them into six slices of concrete pizza. And this villainous ass motherfucker didn't even have a reaction. Looking like Nikola Jokic after curing world hunger. Somehow Zoro is fully intact. He must have left the game and came back before it hit him. But I'm not gonna lie. Bro looks constipated. That's negative 10,000 aura. Anyway, Jerome whispers, Black Lives Matter, motherfucker. And just sends this man flying through someone's grandma's kitchen. Take my fucking grandma. head. All that Keemstar level trash talk. Now y'all here on 2 HP, no shields. This Star here. getting caught e-dating on Roblox. Then this man had the audacity to waste our time even further with this. Oda, please give me a power up. Ass flashback. Sensei. Sensei. Hmm? Why the fuck is your hairline so fucking fucked up? Fuck you, little nigga. You're gonna be just like me one day. Flashback had literally nothing to do with the current situation, but Fuck it, Oda Air dropped him a power up anyways. <laughs> hey, Curious George, I think I found a banana under here for you. And he just lifts up this entire goddamn building. Hey, looking like oh. Mr. Oliva picking up his eight elixir wife. Oh, and this man quit on just standing there like a true hater, <laughs> acting unimpressed. There's no holes watching you, buddy. You can put the building down. I see you struggling. And Zoro was like, oh, put it down? <laughs> and this man just tosses the fucking building at him like it was a beach volleyball. You escaped the plantation, but you're not skipping this building. But this dude does not give a single fuck. He just fruit ninjas that shit like he was nothing. Hey, Old what? Watching this for the first time, we're just sat there like. Who are these niggas? <laughs> so Zoro right. runs up, pops out, and gets into an all-out button match. And Zoro's out here playing ranked racism. He's fighting like they're not gonna let him back into his racist Facebook group chat if he loses. They being that bitch like. Nigga, 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 nigga. Anyways, he keeps hitting this man, but even after a power boost flashback, nothing is working on this man. My goat might be one. Come on. 
Nigga thought he was the hood Baraka. He spawned in razor blades out of his forearm. And this is how niggas in 2020 swore they were gonna wake up with superpowers. Anyways, they clash no royale. Yes, I'm a virgin. And Zoro quickly realizes that he indeed was not built for this. Bro got deflected, hit a little dirt thousand yard stare. And this is why I'm scared of niggas. He puts him in a fucking blender. Started hitting back to back. Mortal Kombat brutality. He's like, God damn. He's doing this for blocks across the globe. My man had MLK's mixtape playing in his head like. So now he's walking up, flexing his mastery rank. And at this point, this is just sad. He was not even a swordsman. And he got Zoro on the ground looking like he just took vicious back shots from Jason Love. And every Zoro fan watching at home like. All that shit you was talking. Now look at you. Health bar fucking blinking. Shut up, you basketball person. Basketball person. Your fucking lips look like you do the Kylie Jenner lip challenge every morning. I'd right, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Let me uh, let me just check the move list real quick. Okay. Up, up, down. Left, left, oh, right. No. I bet. And Ow. he just dices this man in front of Ooh. our faces. Oh, God. God. Niggas started walking away looking like an elongated noodle. We might have genuinely just watched the death of Zoro. They're going to have to replace it with net spend. Gotta thank Lil Bro. The second oh, he started playing yeah. his music, Zoro found the strength to get up and turn that shit off. I'm telling y'all, this nigga thank secretly you. keeps a chunk jug under his durag. Because how the fuck is he eating all these combos? Right. Even Demarcus was shook. He was like, there's just no fucking way you have this much blood armor. And Zoro was like, yep, I do. Plus your black ratio. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. A lot more. Crazy. What y'all think about that? Crazy and a lot of. I don't want to say too many of these. Yeah, it was kind of a sussy move in there. I knew the end of the fight. Crazy. It was too many Diddy moments. That's what you wanted to say. All sizes, all things. He might, he might be a fan of the Diddy party. There was a lot of uh, suspect jokes going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. We sweet. didn't even get to see how the fight really ended. Yeah. Right? What you guys yeah. say, honey? Honey, enough. Oh, okay. What you guys say, honey? I'm just disappointed we didn't even get to finish the fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. He didn't show the fight, man. I know that's talk though. Like, all that for what? It was funny though. Well, he got well, that yeah, I gotta give it to him. I y'all might say this in the comment section, but I ain't gonna count. His video might be a little bit more entertaining than CJ the channel. Don't come at me, right? I'm not saying anything. That's not what I'm I mean. I have nothing to say either. <laughs> I, I have nothing to say with that.